let's do this. Let's do this. That was the chair, that wasn't me. Have you ever been in a situation where you have fish like this who are mouth brooders and found out that some are pregnant and holding eggs? Well, I'm gonna show you what might be arguably the best tumbler in the market. All right, so check this out, right? So if you're anything like me, when I got into this hobby, I wanted all males because me scouring YouTube and the internet, when I see other fish keepers who keep similar fish, it's kind of like the thing. Everyone keeps male fish because males tend to have the most color. And when you're dealing with, uh, well, not when you're dealing, but someone like me, I don't want to dish out so much money for a saltwater tank, even though I love saltwater tanks. This right here, to me, in my opinion, is the closest you can get to a saltwater tank in terms of color, personality, uh, different types of species, different kinds of colors and patterns. Like, to me, this is awesome and way cheaper. Um, so, when I first bought a batch of fish, I intended to get all males, but because I get my fish in a juvenile size, most of the times they come unsexed, meaning that you take the risk of getting some females with the, your order of fish. So that's what happened to me. And then one day I found out my fish were holding. I didn't really know what to do. I knew that if I let the female hold full term, she'll go about three to four weeks without eating. And that's not good. I didn't, really didn't want her to die, even though I didn't want any females. But in the female fish's defense, her colors were actually popping. So I thought it was a male for the longest until I found out she was holding. So I wanted to see, okay, what can come of this? What happens if I try to grow these fry to uh, to what you see here? You know, see what kind of variations I get up on. So I got curious. So I started doing all kinds of things. Uh, at first I bought a very cheap tumbler from Amazon. Hey, I'm making a video, chill out. Very generic, very cheap uh, egg tumbler. The problem with that egg tumbler is that I had a lot of issues with the eggs not tumbling enough, maybe tumbling too much. Uh, the space inside the tumbler was about that big of round. It was like a cylinder shape. And for me, it wasn't enough space for the eggs to actually get tumbling and, and uh, get proper aeration. So anyways, I dropped that and I started using this method here. I actually have a breeder box right here behind me, if you can see it, with just two air stones in it with the air turned up pretty high in order to get the eggs tumbling. And yes, it is successful. I do have out of maybe 30 fry that were in there, I might have lost maybe five. But anyways, I wanted to see what a better tumbler option uh, looked like. And I wanted to find one that maybe people were talking about that I haven't tried yet. So I came across this one. <laughs> Here is the TM Pet Group Egg Tumbler. Never heard of this brand. Never seen this brand before. Went on Amazon, checked out different types. And this style tumbler matches uh, the most popular egg tumbler out there. If you've seen it on anybody else's channel, maybe you may know who I'm talking about. I won't mention them in this video, but I figured instead of paying that price, which was basically double this, it's the exact same thing, just a different brand. And what I found is that a, a lot of overseas brands are really just replicating the same product and just putting their own packaging on it. So it's the same thing. So don't get fooled. But why am I showing you in the box? Let's open this thing up and see what it's got. So this is an unboxing video. Never before opened. I just got it today on Amazon. Um, have not opened it yet. So I'm excited to break the seal with you guys and share uh, first time or first impressions, if you will. So let's break this thing open and boom, I'm greeted with the egg tumbler. I promise you, I haven't even opened it this far. I, I, first time for real. Nothing else in the box. Everything's all packaged in one plastic bag, it looks like. Um, and then before I get roasted in the comments, yeah, I broke my finger about a week ago. So I'm dealing with that crap. So. Bear with me. So 
The first is what looks like the top of the tumbler and an elbow to direct flow outside of your egg tumbler with what also looks like a kind of like a simulation of a air stone. It's not a stone, it's a plastic barrel with perforations in it, which I'm assuming, I really don't know if you guys are picking that up, but which I'm assuming air comes out of it to act like an air stone, so that's cool. Got a air regulator to control the flow of air and your input. So air comes in through here, and blows out of there. Furthermore, let's take this thing out of its packaging. Nothing in there. All right, so first off, very solid construction, pretty thick plastic. Not too heavy, but not light at all. Um, it's almost a perfect balance of what you would expect it to be. It feels good quality, is what I can best describe it as. Um, trying to figure out how to pop this off. On the top, it's got a sponge. Nothing too crazy there. You've all seen sponges before. And, okay. So it's not a screw top, but it has a gasket seal all the way to, around the, the edge, so it keeps a nice tight seal. Oh, English! I can't speak English! <laughs> All right. Keeps a nice tight seal inside the cylinder. So you don't have to twist righty-tighty or lefty-loosey. You just gotta twist back and forth and pull it out. Um, again, good solid construction. Inside of there, you can see there's like a uh, metal screen mesh to keep eggs from, I'm, I'm assuming, coming out or debris from going in. Again, we'll find out in a little bit. Put that down. Inside we have our suction cups. Comes with four rubber suction cups. They feel pretty solid. And then we have the backing plate. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, now I'm getting it. So, with the backing plate, we can attach our suction cups. And it is as easy as that. Super easy, no fighting with it. It's got a bigger hole to put the stem through with a nub. Once it's through, you slide it over to lock it in place. Can't ask for, okay. Can't ask for anything simpler than that. So boom, this will stick around your tank like so. Crap, right? There you go. <laughs> Sticks pretty good. And then you've got your main cylinder. So, you know what, I'm gonna do it again. Let's pretend this is the inside of the tank. Stick it on there. Take your egg tumbler, place it in whatever position you want inside your tank, or maybe, not your main tank, but whatever tank you're gonna put it in. Take your cylinder, slide it, lock it into place, bam. That's pretty legit. And then if you wanna take it out, boom, slide it off. Remove the suction cups. All right. So, how do you put this thing together? You got your barrel. Got this piece, I'm gonna call it the funnel. Um, judging by the box, it looks like they want the funnel to towards the back of the cylinder, like so. And then your sponge will go in place on top to keep any debris from going inside of your egg tumbler. Okay, I'm just trying to understand the design. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to assure you that what you get on this channel is a first time use experience and a learning experience at that with me along this journey. This is no BS channel. This is no scripted channel. I have yet to ever make a video with a script, just an idea and just hit record. Get the raw stuff. All right, cool, so there you go. I made it look way harder than what it is. I just took it back out to see what it's actually filtering. So let me get it assembled first and then I'll tell you what I, how I, or let me tell you, I swear, this is, 
this is why I should write a script, because if I don't write a script, this happens all the time. So let me put it together first, how it should be, and then let me try to explain how it works. Okay, this is fully assembled. So what do you have? My ass. So, air goes into this tube, activates the plastic air stone, bubbles rise from the tube here and exit through here. Now, because the bubbles rise and push out this way, it actually sucks water in from on top into the egg tumbler, okay? So bear with me, check it out. Water gets sucked in through the sponge, down to this tube and then goes down out and around the edges and out this outtake tube into your tank creating a current a circulating current within the egg tumbler which then tumbles your eggs so the more air you put to it the stronger the current the more your eggs tumble the less air you put to it the less current <laughs> Why does this happen? Why does this happen? The less air you send through this, the less air put through this means that the eggs will tumble less. I don't know what other words to use for that. Do you guys get what I'm saying here? So, more bubbles. More tumble, less bubbles, less tumble. You feel me? All right, cool. I'm having a, a day. And so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna use this. I actually have two yellow labs in here that are holding. Um, this is like the third time where I found my yellow labs holding at the same time. So they must be best friends. They like to get pregnant together all the time. And I don't know who the father is. I, I do know it's another yellow lab, obviously, but I have one, two, I believe I have three male yellow labs. I'm sorry, two male yellow labs and three female yellow labs. So between the two dad, between the two males, I don't know who's the dad. Uh, but I got some fry growing out in my in my fry tank right now, and they're about the size of my pinky nail, and they're already super bright yellow. So that's pretty awesome. So, anyways, this is that egg tumbler. This is the TM Pet Group egg tumbler. Now, if you're interested in picking one of these up yourself. Go in the description below this video. I will have a link, an Amazon link. It is actually an Amazon affiliate link that I'll have attached to this in the description below. And you would do me a solid. If you are interested in this Tumblr, use my link to get it. It'll help out the channel a lot. I'm really trying to push out more and more videos more consistently. And I wanna do more unboxings for you guys. So if you could support your boy, and I got you in return with these super informative, awesome, script-free, no BS videos.